Russia against Macedonia. That's the amazing live stream today. <laughs> and yeah, let's see if it actually picks up the stream. Just a second. Give it a second to pick up the stream. I think there we go. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let's, let's restart quickly. So this is a live stream. Russia against Macedonia. An amazing Clash Royale, World Royale League Esports match Russia against Macedonia. If you watch this video later on as a replay on YouTube, there will be timestamps in the video description below for each of the matches that you want to see a replay of. And I will also put in the comments a pinned comments with a timestamp for each of the matches in this amazing match here between Russia and Macedonia. Wow, it's gonna be amazing! I'm so hyped for this. And we already have a viewer here <laughs> that is chatting. You're the first. Big, big shout out to you. Uh, Tiki or Tiki14. He says Russia's gonna win easily. Well, we're gonna see if that's true. <laughs> we're gonna see if that's true. And then Counter Gaming in the house. Hello, Counter Gaming. Oh, there's the lineup, but I won't tell. <laughs> I won't tell. I have to take off the head. Whoa, wow, I'm so loud. I gotta take off the headphones a little bit because otherwise I'm simply too loud. <laughs> I'm shouting. Guten Tag, Content Gaming. Hello. Guten Tag. Herzlich willkommen. So, uh, what else do we need to do? Let's switch to the game. There we go. <laughs> so, if you just joined... It's gonna be amazing. Russia against Macedonia. That's the match today. And you see I advertised it over there already. Live English on my channel. If you don't want to use that cryptic link. The good thing with the cryptic link is actually it will always lead you to this exact video again. Because after the stream that video will be live. It will remain live. So you can watch the replay. But if you're just interested, go quickly to the live stream. You can actually use the, that link over there that I just used, which is just YouTube Chief Avalon slash live. That will always lead you to the live stream. Also, when a live stream is prepared, that will work very easily. So they should start any minute. The match is supposed to start in one minute, actually. And we have Bola here. They're in need of an admin. <laughs> Dang. Where's the admin? There is an admin. Let me check. We do have an admin in the caster sheet. Let's check. There is one. I checked earlier and there was one. Let's see. Um, today we have March. March. Which March it is? March 20. March 20. Oh, there's no admin. <laughs> hmm. There's no admin. Dang, they need an admin. <laughs> is it Guten Tag or the Guten Tag? It is Guten Tag, the first one. One. It is one. <laughs> one. <laughs> they should really move this here to the to one of the corners, actually, because it's kind of, I don't know. When I when I look at the battle like this, it's always in my face. <laughs> Go away! Go away! <laughs> Go away! I don't want that. <laughs> World Royale League, what an amazing league, sponsored by Outlaws. Actually, not only, I'm proud to say I'm also a proud sponsor of Outlaws. <laughs> I'm also a proud sponsor of World Royale League, not of Outlaws. Proud sponsor of World Royale League, that's what I am. Because I feel like they, they really deserve it. They're doing such a great job with organizing that league. And oh, why did I send this? <laughs> why did I send this? You can't speak and think at the same time. <laughs> That's why. Um, yeah. So, but you haven't donated yet, right? Uh, yeah, uh, um, I think that's internal, <laughs> internal details, how it's exact, exactly done. But yeah, I'm a sponsor. I'm a donator. So, that's what it is. And we're about to start here as soon as they have an admin. Let's, let's just, in the meantime, maybe we just watch a match. I don't know. 
doesn't look like they're gonna start immediately. So that at least, well, so at least it's something on the screen happening. <laughs> so that you don't just have to look at me. <laughs> hmm. Well, so that's why. Did I send out a tweet that we're live? Let's check. Let's check all that stuff here. All the technical stuff. Then let's redo a quick introduction. If you have questions, this is the moment to ask. Because we're still busy with getting set up and everything and, and waiting for them to start. See, Nay16, thanks for the sub. <laughs> thanks so much. Yeah, that's where you see your name if you subscribe here on YouTube. The tweet was sent. That's good. We're ready. Russia against Macedonia. We had a, a match of Russia on the channel and a match of Macedonia. Um, I think Russia won last time. Uh, let's see. Let me check. Let me check this. Let me check the facts. I think Bola is actually faster than me, but... They'll try. Find the facts. We had Russia against Ireland. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I think Ireland won. And then we had Macedonia. Macedonia. That was Croatia against Macedonia. They didn't play though. And oh wow, it didn't happen. Okay, it was postponed. Okay, so Macedonia has not played before. So we don't really know. We don't really know how strong they are. They could be excellent and very strong. So, we'll see. Uh, the Tito sent. Then, Sparks is here. Hey. Graf Kornlov. Hello, Chief Avalon. Can you talk a little bit about the rules of the match? Um, yes, I can. <laughs> so, the rules of this... Oh, it, it's just been added. Let, let's quickly exit here. So that we don't miss. We don't want to miss. Don't want to miss a single match, of course. Not clap. Yeah, there's the announcement. Good. And then I'll tell you about the rules. But first, the first match we have, let me, I need to add this over here, is Big O. Big O versus Kobe. That's going to be the first match. So, how this works, it's King of the Hill. That means basically that those two players there, Big O and Kobe, you see them below here, they will play a best of three. Uh, so whoever wins two matches first will be the winner of this set. And the winner will proceed to the next set. So it's a king of the hill. The winner will remain in the game. The loser is out. So for example, if Kobe wins, Big O is out or Big Zero, could be Big Zero, and then Kobe will play against the next Russian player. Whoever won five matches first is the winner of the match. Unless <laughs> both of them have four. If, four, if it's a 4-4 four, four tie, it will go to six. That's basically the rules how it works. And then for each set there is a ban. You see that already over here. The Royal Giant has been banned. Uh, by Big O, I guess, and Kobe will also have a ban for the set. As soon as a team reaches four points, the other team has a global ban that is valid throughout all of the matches from then on. So that's basically all you need to know about the rules. There is no draws. That's another thing that may be important. There's no draws here. So if there is actually a draw, lowest tower will lose the match. That's how it works. So, and yeah, if you have any more questions, just ask. Uh, Russia beat Ireland 5-0. What is all these messages I'm getting here? Any messages? <laughs> uh, Croatia beat Macedonia 5-0, says Bola. Okay. And my films is in the house. Hello, my films. Herzlich willkommen. And Arxon, CR, is here. And... That's what I see in the chat. So this is your chance to ask questions before the match starts. Kobe just banned the graveyard. <laughs> graveyard is the banned card. And we're getting ready here for the first match. Big O against Kobe. And yeah, I will, at each start of the match, I will take the timestamp. So don't be uh, confused by that. I'm just noting the timestamp to make sure I can later on add timestamps to the video. 
that you find each match easily. <laughs> easily. That's the goal. And we're ready to start. Russia against Macedonia in World Royale League. In the group phase. <laughs> An amazing Clash Royale tournament. Jorge or Jorge Falcon says Lapda will be the admin for this match. He's one of the most active users on the Discord server. That's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Big O is ready to request. Ready to request. Let's go. There's Big O. And we start. Let's get ready for clashing. In this first amazing match here in World Royale League, Russia against Macedonia. Big O against Kobe. Big O against Kobe. The bands are Royal Giant and Graveyard. And Big O starts off with a bandit, which is stopped immediately by the Lumberjack. Bats going for the Lumberjack that can't do any damage there. No damage done. The bats actually gonna no damage that was weird i thought one of the bad would bats would actually hit but it didn't no hits there no hits for the bats the prince stopped by the guards good distraction there to the center would it be a battle ram deck here that kobe is playing maybe Electro Dragon going for the Inferno Dragon. I'm not sure. Let's see if the chat guesses first which decks they play. What deck is Big O playing? What deck is Kobe playing? If you have an idea and you're first to put it in the chat, you win. <laughs> There's no prize though. Left Jack in the house. Hey, Left Jack, an amazing Russian player. Awesome having you. Left Jack. There's the battle ram, so I was right. Kobe with the battle ram deck. And Big O, I'm not sure about Big O yet. What deck he could be playing. Nobody in the chat chat knows. If you have an idea, just let me know. Schaust du Schweizer Nazi spielen gegen Georgien und Dänemark? Fußball meinst du? Nein? Wahrscheinlich nicht. The cards going against the Prince. I'm still not sure what deck Big O uses. But Kobe definitely with the Battle Ram deck. The Barbarian's gonna stop him. Guys, can you guess what, what's the win condition here for Big O? The Lumberjack. Probably a Royal Giant. Could it be a Royal Giant? Or maybe a tank like a Golem or a Giant. Something like that. Kobe with the Prince. Abdi Rahman Samatar, hello, welcome. Nice having you. Okay, there is the golem. So I was first to name it. I was first to call it. <laughs> you gotta be faster. You gotta be faster next time. Golem. Golem supported by the Electro Dragon. Of course, Kobe has the Infernal Dragon. It's a little bit unfortunate, but he has the Electro Dragon too. So it's gonna reset the Inferno Dragon. The Golem though, get into the tower. Well played here by Big O. Big O already with another Golem. Golem doing loads of damage there. And But there's a lot of defensive units by Kobe. Golem getting stabbed. Now you gotta distract that Inferno Dragon. Well done, the Golem's still on the way. There's already the next Inferno Dragon. And Inferno Dragon getting burned. Yes, because the Electro Dragon got distracted. But at least it explodes at the tower. Doing good damage to the tower. That's what you want. You want the Golem to explode at the tower. And then Big O has to prevent the counter push here. Go for the Prince. The Prince can do tons of damage. You don't want that. You don't want that Prince to do so much damage. The Mega Knight. The Mega Knight. That's what he plays. Battle Ram and Mega Knight. Big O taking it easy. Defending first. Not pushing right now. Doing defense first. You know there is no draw. So he could actually also just play for a draw. If he defends well he's gonna win. He could do that. No risk. He could do no risk play. 
But I don't think he will. I think he's just taking his time. Anyways, he's going for the battle ram. He's smashing the Barbarian. And then he's deploying the next Golem. But you gotta defend the Mega Knight too. Mega Knight Prince. Mega Knight gonna jump the Tombstone. Tombstone distracted by the guards. Again, great defense. But it's getting close. It's getting close. That Electro Dragon certainly missing here behind the Golem. So the golem getting destroyed and actually before it hits the tower, which is unfortunate. Getting burned. 862. It's very close. Very close. Big O. Big O taking damage by the battle ram. 378. Obi. Good attack with the battle ram. What a comeback here in that very first match. How intense that. There's the bandit. Maybe Big O should have just defended instead of pushing with that golem. Maybe that was unfortunate. But let's see. Let's see. It's not over yet. There's the next battle ram. Battle ram getting stopped. But there's also the prince. And Kobe is currently winning this first game here. He's in the lead. There's the golem. You gotta stop the golem before it hits the tower. Otherwise, Kobe may lose. That's the point. Look at the golem. It's at the tower. Oh, no. That doesn't look good. I think that battle ram was one too many. I think that battle ram, that was just one too many. <laughs> and so Big O getting the first win here against Kobe. Kobe was so close. <laughs> he was so close. But then that little mistake with the battle ram happened. Good match. Actually, Big O started with the lead. Kobe... Came back strong and then all of a sudden Big O got that tower. And here's the full deck. Here's the full deck. What just happened? Here's the full deck. I hope they're not playing. So. Jorge Falcon. I think I'll apply to be admin. Here's already the next match. That was really fast. JD is gaming in the house. Hey. Awesome, JD's Gaming. Awesome having you. So here's match number two. Big O against Kobe. Big O now, of course, in the lead. He needs just one more win here for a 1-0 for Russia. He's playing the Battle Ram. Uh, the, the Bandit, sorry. He's playing the Bandit. <laughs> bandit. So, who guesses the decks first? It's funny how they play a mirror deck right now. Ladies Gaming in the chat says Big O is a great golem player. And this looks almost like a mirror match right now. Maybe both with the battle ram. Battle ram duel. Is it the battle ram duel? There's the first battle ram. Battle ram's on the way. Getting attacked by the minions. But still, one of the barbarians gonna hit the tower. Big O so far has not played his win condition. Minions going for the minions. Cake. <laughs> Jumping out of the cake. Hog riders. Hog rider emote, cake emote, muscle play. <laughs> Battle Ram now by Big O. The moment he plays the Prince, he counters other line with the Battle Ram and the guards. And so that doesn't hit. No hit there. Bandit. Maybe the Bandit No, he's got the Ice Golem ready to distract the Bandit just on time, making sure the Bandit doesn't hit. But the same here for Kobe. Kobe also defended the Bandit with his Musketeer. Marcelinos, hello. Here's the next battle ram. Battle ram dashed and yeah, one of the barbarians actually gonna hit. Good fireball, but the barbarian's already gone. Now Big O with a push with the battle ram. Prince of course stabbing the ice golem. 
And the Battle Ram doesn't hit. Guards are an excellent defense here against the Battle Ram. There's no denying that. Bandit hitting into the Prince. Like a mirror. Both sides, same thing. Snowball. Bandit getting Snowball. Next one. Next Battle Ram supported by a Musketeer. Again, excellent Fireball. But also Kobe plays a great fireball attacking that Musketeer, but almost no damage done. Now Big O on the counter push, both lanes with a bandit and a battle ram. Battle ram getting stabbed by the prince and it's not getting to the tower once again. Good defense here by Kobe. We're already in overtime. Already in overtime. Prince distracted just with a simple ice golem. Now big O pushing once again, but this time the battle ram is gonna be stopped by the prince. Maybe this gives a little advantage here to big O actually, because it can take the condition. Kobe's win condition out and then play his own. Maybe that's what he was waiting for. There's already the next prince, predicted the battle ram, so big O couldn't play the battle ram. Now he's playing the prince against the prince. And also notice that great placement of the Ice Golem on the left, where the Ice Golem actually shuts down the entire Musketeer attack. Now the Musketeer going for this battle ram. The Bandit is a little bit of a waste. Is Kobe ready to defend? He always has those guards ready. And so Big O really struggles here against the guards. The guards minions always stop his push. And of course he doesn't want to waste a fireball just on them. Look at the prince. The prince on the left. On the right. <laughs> Gets to stab the tower. And that gives Big O a lead. Remember there's no draws. Remember there's no draws. So that could be a win. <laughs> there's a good fireball. And one more Barbarian getting to the tower. Fireball defense. What about the bandit? Bandit also dashes the tower. Oh, all of a sudden, this looks really good for Big O. Yeah, the crying has a reason there. Good push for Big O. Looking good for Big O now. Big O defending the guards. Fireball, the battle ram. Not getting a hit once again. Once again, the battle ram got stopped and Big O pushing with his own battle ram and that one's gonna hit. And that's tower and that's win for Big O. Getting the first win here for Russia. 1-0 for Russia. What an amazing battle ram duel and such a smart strategic play here by both players. An amazing match. Wow. And here's the decks. That was insane, and it's 1-0 for Russia. Amazing. What do you think about that game, guys? The countering ban struck really hard in some teams. Yeah, if you buy illegal gems, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Crazy game. Big O is OP. So who is next? Who is next? Big O against Klee. I can hardly read that. Clicker. 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 That's the next match. So first, first they're going to announce their bands. Again. They're going to announce the bands. So let's see what they do. Both players announce the band cards. <laughs> Really, GG, Graf Kornlove. That was a great match. I agree. And it was so intense with the Battle Ram duel. Battle Ram duel, that was great. Great action. That was amazing battle ram action. Kobe tried twice with the battle ram, but then he played it once too often and that's why the golem got to the tower and he lost. And then the, in the second battle ram duel, it was literally just one time where Kobe was not really ready to defend and so the battle ram got to the tower and destroyed the tower. So the band cards for set two are Royal Giant and Ram Rider.
And we're ready to go. Ready to go. Match number two. Big O against Clicker. Big O versus Clicker. And first they start off with leaking a little bit of elixir. We're getting used to that barbarian rolling. And he actually rolls to the tower. <laughs> that was very fortunate here for Clicker. Good start for Clicker. Big O now plays a lava hound. A lava hound. Interesting. Lava hound deck. Clicker has. Let's say click. Big O plays the lava hound. Clicker, of course, with the hunter. Hunter's gonna be good against the, the lava hound. However, there's also a flying machine. And uh, notice how Clicker distracts that flying machine with his print. However, the flying machine is still there. So we gotta play the Mega Minute to really take out that flying machine. Because it's gonna do so much dam damage. However, the Lumberjack was on the tower. Lumberjack did so much insane damage to that tower. What an amazing push here by Big O. And there goes the first tower. Dang. That was fast. That was very fast. I love those Lava Hound against Golem decks. And very often it's actually the Lava Hound that wins. It's very often the case. Okay, there's the Golem. The Flying Machine, of course, is gonna lock to the Golem. Golem has support by the Prince. Lumberjack gonna help. But the Prince just gonna stab him. Golem gonna explode at the tower. That's good. There's still the flying machine. She's fully, fully healthy. And yeah, but she is too late to support. Be too late to support the lava hound. Getting one shot at the tower, which is not bad. Also, the golem push here for Clicker. Very successful, actually. And therefore, he already placed the next golem. Next golem is on the way. Gonna defend the Lava Hound once again. Flying Machine again. It's the same story here. The flying Machine locked on the Golem. Golem getting distracted by the Tombstone. But Big O has to do a little bit more defense this time. Or he's gonna get in trouble. He's about to lose that tower. That was obvious. Golemite's going for the King Tower. Also the Prince going for the King Tower. And he gotta play the next Flying Machine. Now he gotta score. Apparently, Clicker tries to go for the three crowd. Big O pushing for the left tower. And the flying machine locks on the golem once again. And the, go <laughs> the lava hounds on the tower doing little bits of damage there. Support by the poison puppies. Puppies doing a little bit of damage. We're already in overtime. Only 2 minutes 40. 2 minutes 40 left. The Prince. He didn't get to the King Tower, so the plan didn't really work. But he keeps pushing. And now Big O, very aggressive push there with the Golem in the pocket. Uh, the Lava Hound in the pocket. But that may be a very smart move. Look at this. Poison and that's Tower. Big O. And once again, the Lava Hound strikes against the Golem. 1-0 <laughs> for Big O. Here's the decks. And yeah, before I forget, we will have a live stream tomorrow too. Tomorrow will be, uh, let me check here so I get it right. Tomorrow will be United Kingdom against Tunisia. Tunisia, that's tomorrow. And then Friday, Saturday and Sunday will have Brawl Premier League, the finals. And then on Sunday, no, that's not true. Didn't I have a match on Sunday too? Where did that go? Was it postponed? That's weird. Looks like it's disappeared. That's weird. Gotta check that. Dang. My match on Sunday has disappeared. Weird. <laughs> that's weird. So here's the next one. JD. Old country without electricity. That's bad. I hope it's getting better. 
Gut. Äh, also du bist. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. Hmm. No names. Big O versus Flicker. Big versus O. That was the first match. For the second one, I missed the time step. How bad? How bad is that? Okay, balloon. Clicker with a balloon, getting the first tower here. Balloon, giant skeleton. Balloon, giant skeleton. Wow. Amazing. Giant skelly balloon against golem. Big O with the golem. Miners on the tower. On the tower. Let me also check what happened to that match. Thought I have a match on Sunday. What happened to that one? Yes, Argentina against Switzerland. That one's this. Oh, it's still there. But my name has this. That's well. <laughs> that's weird. So. Anyways, back to this match here. Back to this one. The golem getting defended there by... By the uh, giant scale. Avalon, how many languages do you speak? I saw you cast in German. Yeah, we cast it in Swiss German. And uh, I speak a little bit of Spanish. I speak German and Swiss German and English. And still a little bit of French. And I think that's it. That's it! There's the golem. Hello, Philip! Hello! Yeah, this doesn't look good. 1-1. One, one. Clicker. The moment I didn't watch. Because I was busy. Clicker gets the first win here. And it's 1-1 one, one now in Big O against Clicker. Will you cast Argentina match? Yeah, I think that's the one. My name was there. Switzerland against Argentina. But somehow my name disappeared. That's weird. Well, <laughs> I'll put it back there because that was the plan to cast Switzerland on Sunday. Here's the next one. North Macedonia. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. When I was looking for the flag, I've seen that it's technically now North Macedonia. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know about that. Giant Skelly! Clicker sticks to the Giant Skelly. It's a deck you don't face that often, so it's probably not that easy to counter. Don't really know what, what how to fight it, because it's rare. So you're probably not that... that don't have that much practice against it. Graveyards on the tower. And didn't work. Big O tries with the graveyard deck. Getting attacked by the balloon. Very aggressive balloon attack here by Clicker. Macedonia getting... Oh, tornado. That's gonna activate the king tower. Well played by Big O. It's not over yet. It's not over till it's over. But we can already tell this is gonna be an intense match. The night, when the night has come, he's on the tower with the graveyard, but Clicker also has the Goblin Gang to defend, so the graveyard cannot do that much harm. 
And still Clicker has the lead. We're expecting the next balloon very soon. <laughs> next balloon is going to be very soon, I guess. Big O defending. It's a little bit of an uphill battle here for Big O, it seems. There's the giant skelly. The thing with the giant skelly is that often you will over defend it because you don't see it that often. And then what will happen is that you sometimes just over defend. You place too many troops against the giant skelly. They all die. And then here another nice tornado getting the balloon down, but still his towers on 840. He plays that graveyard immediately. But Clicker already has the Goblin Gang back. Poison. Now the giant skelly gonna defend it. Actually, some of the little skellies gonna hit the tower, getting it to 888. This is getting really close now. Big O gotta defend again against the giant skeleton. There's already the balloon. You gotta stop the balloon too. Here's the tombstone. Tombstone distracting the balloon. Is it enough? Is that enough? The balloon pulled back by the tornado. And we're going to overtime. The next giant skell is on the way. Knight has come. <laughs> Fighting the giant skelly. Graveyard. Poison. Goblin gang. Miner trying to defend. Trying to defend. 404. And all of a sudden Big O is winning. If he's able to defend. There's the next balloon. So you gotta defend the balloon. Does he have tombstone? That's the question. He tornadoes a little bit early. No, that was actually not his tornado. And again, he's able to defend, but he gotta get rid of the miner. 540. There's the graveyard. Poison. Graveyard poison. Baby dragon defending, but that's not gonna be enough. I call it. It's not enough. I call it. And there's the tower. And that's a 2-0 for Russia. Great match here by Big O. He's able to win once again. Wow. Graveyard versus Giant Skelly Balloon. Which was very, very interesting to watch. Very special. This is the deck. Okay, let's not miss the next one for the timestamps. Big O versus Dimitch. Dimitch, he's next. Good. Dimitch. Dimitch. Take notes and then I'll answer all the questions there in the chat. Don't worry, don't worry. So, good. Okay, there was a question. I've seen that. Uh, Swiss isn't the language, I don't think. Yeah, it isn't the language. Actually, Swiss German is the language that the German-speaking part of Switzerland speaks. That's called Swiss German. Or you can call it Swiss. That doesn't really matter. And it's like a different dialect. It's like Dutch and German. It's like a, a different dialect with also words that Germans don't know. So we also have our own words. Uh, but it's similar. Does that explain it? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, Balloon Clone is very popular, Jorge. We've seen that in ESL Swiss when I cast it yesterday. There's a lot of Balloon Clone decks at the moment. There's also a lot of Ram Riders. Then Soham Saha. Hey! Percy Jackson. Hello! Good. That's it for the chat. Next match. Next match is Big O against Dimitch. 2 0 for Russia right now. And they're gonna announce the banned card. So, still, you have a little bit of time. You have a little bit of time now to ask yeah. questions in the chat. Royal Giant is banned and Graveyard. Royal Giant and Graveyard. That's the band. You can already start the guessing what decks they play. <laughs> when it's not just my films.
Gut. <coughs> Big O against Dimmick. That was so close. Clicker was doing so good. But then Big O still got that tower somehow. That was really impressive how he got that tower. Jorge Falcon says, all of my films. Do you think Russia will lose a set? Soham asks. I don't know. I totally don't know. Here we go. Have the timestamp. And again, we start with a barbarian barrel. Royal Giant is banned often here. It's a very popular deck and it's very strong. So we have Royal Giant and Graveyard banned cards right now. Electro Wizard. I think Big O will sweep, says Sohan. We'll know. In about one hour. Well, no. The rascal boy. Hitting poisoned a little bit. Trying with a skeleton barrel. Miner. That's dangerous. Look at the skeleton barrel. Gonna deploy. Ah, nice one. Barbarian lock. <laughs> Barbarian barrel lock. And so the skeleton barrel was gone. Electro Wizard. So far, no clear advantage here in this match for neither of them. <laughs> Bats are on the way. Big O. Miner on the tower. And again, Snowball. That's an easy defense there with the Snowball. But still, I mean, Big O is getting good chip damage here. Gotta defend against the Bandit. And he does it with the Rascals. That works well. He's in the lead right now. Big O having done more damage. Thank you, Jorge. Here's your thumbs up. Thank you so much. So, uh, there's the next miner. Miner and... Yeah, he tries. He tries. There's the Ram Rider. How is Big O gonna stop the Ram Rider? Ram Rider on the Tesla. Killing it. It's actually really easy to kill the Ram Rider. You just cannot ignore him. Eka. Here. It's actually a pretty standard Ram Rider deck that, that um, Dimitri is playing. And Big O. It's a weird minor deck. It's a minor deck we don't see that often, but it seems to work. It seems to work. But here the Ram Rider is gonna hit. Ram Rider hits, getting that tower instantly to 14, 11, the bandit still there, triple digits and we're already in overtime, look at the baby dragon, big O, what you gonna do for the baby dragon, 324, that doesn't look good, there's the next Ram Rider, big O struggles with defending the Ram Rider, Ram Rider's on the Tesla, now Ram Rider on his way to the tower and... The snowball hits though, but not the Ram Rider. There's the minor for defense. That was a little bit too much. Not really required. But at least it distracts the baby dragon. Notice that Dimitri just needs a poison and a snowball. Poison and a snowball. Log sap minor bay. There's the snowball. That's the first loss for Big O in the first match, actually. So Dimitri. Getting the 1 0 lead. First time Big O actually is behind. In this amazing match here, Ram Rider deck against Minor <laughs> Sap deck. Minor deck. Ram Rider versus Minor. 1-0. Match number 2. 
match number two. Good luck. Good luck. Miners on the tower. Suspended by the Lumberjack. Lumberjack is very popular. We see Lumberjack really often. Baron Barrel. Full. So probably Big O with a Golem. I think he's gonna play the Golem deck once again. And it looks like Dimage sticks to the Ram Rider. Or Battle Ram. But probably the deck he just. We'll see. Uh, when's my next vlog going to be uploaded? I, I'm not sure yet. I need to edit it. It's already finished, but I need to edit it and I want to upload it next weekend. So I hope I make it. <laughs> but as I said, I'll be streaming every day from now to Sunday. So it's gonna be hard. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying. We'll be there. The vlogs will be there. Then Vinci Da Vinci is here. Hello. More vlogs to come. Many, many more vlogs on my vlog channel. Don't miss out on the vlogs. Let me post the link. If, if you don't know. You may not know. Flying machine. Could it be? Could it be that Big O is actually playing a Lava Hound? Could it be the Lava Hound again? Dimitri has an interesting deck there with the Ghost. That's usually a Ram Rider deck with Ghost. Can you say Vincenzo Danello? <laughs> Hola Jorge. Then Davo here, hello. The miner getting good damage there on that tower. Lava Hound. Lava Hound flying machine. It's on the way. Getting pulled by the tornado. Flying machine unfortunately going. The next Lava Hound! A double Lava Hound's on the way. Double Lava Hound. Baby Dragon for support. What an aggressive push here by Big O. I'm not sure this is gonna work, but at least for now, puppies are doing damage here. Puppies do work. 15. And we get into overtime now. The puppies back at it again. Baby dragon. 65. Oh, that one's going down very fast. 265. Three minutes time. That looks good here for Big O. Big O. Bending the miner. That looks really good for Big O. Lumberjack. Pull it back. But the poison's on the tower. And after that, he needs just one more poison. And there you go. Big O is back. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Here's the deck. So that was... Lava Hound versus Miner. Deck. Yeah, I'm always writing that. <laughs> that I know afterwards. That was the deck. It's 1-1. One, one. Can Big O continue his streak or not? Can't say they're fast though. Hello, Sebastian Hoffer. Bingo for Big O, he says. Two Lava Hounds. Two Lava Hounds without a clone. That was amazing. Bandits on the way. Bandit. Oki and the Bandit. Hitting the barrel. Barbarian. Getting attacked by the Barbarian. Did he stop the Mega Minion? No, he takes a little bit of damage to fill up his Elixir again. And now Bego sticks to Lava Hound. That's an interesting choice. He sticks to the Lava Hound deck. A machine in the Poison going for the Electro Wizard. 
And then it's not gonna be enough to move out of poison. The Ram Rider. Ram Rider versus Lava Hound. Lava Hound Madness here. <laughs> Ram Rider not getting there. Just the next Lava Hound. Double check getting stopped by the bandit. Getting stopped by the bandit. Another close one. They always start kind of slow and then all of a sudden the tower goes down. The bandit hits. Good hit by the bandit. Electro wizard. <laughs> Stopping him. And there's the next lava hound. Next lava hound. Getting attacked by the electro wizard. And the flying machine. Always making damage, use his poison on the flying machines. Probably not what he wants. But yeah, you gotta defend the flying machine somehow. Baby dragon for support. Using the bandit to distract baby dragon. The snowball. Baby dragon getting hits on the tower. The tower's on 750, 7056. And then the lumberjack. Is he gonna finish the tower? Almost. 342. Seems Big O is unbeatable here in this match against Dimage. Dimage started with a victory, lost the second match against Lava Hound. And yeah, that Pekka there, I don't know about that. That looks a little bit desperate. That looks just a little bit desperate. The Lava Hound's on the tower and that's game. It's still 18 seconds to go though. 16 seconds to go. But Big O has it, and also Dimitch knows it. It's impossible. Impossible to come back. And uh, so he's actually giving up on his King Tower there. And you're gonna see a beautiful three crown. <laughs> well played by Big O with the Lava Hound. And next will be Big O against Stefs. And here is the deck for you guys. This is the deck. I can do three wins with a huge good luck strike. I will never make the 20 wins, I guess. I guess I won't. Okay, next one will be Big O against Stefs. Big O versus Stefs. Big O, quite a streak here. A sweep. He's working on a sweep. 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 He's working on a sweep. First three crowns win of this match. Yes. Then Novak. Novak the boss is here. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Awesome having you. So. Warning to Big O. Why is that? Is there a warning to Big O and not to Art is King? But anyways, we're waiting for the bands. Both players, please announce the band card. 3-0 for Russia. Novak the Boss, where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Royal Giant gets banned again. They always ban Royal Giant. Royal Giant and Miner is banned. Okay. Defs versus Big O. Uh, gibt es auch eine Brawl Stars Weltmeisterschaft? Not right now. There you go, there's the next match. The band cards are Royal Giant and I guess Graveyard. I'm not sure actually, but I think it was Graveyard. It's not updated on the sheet, so that's why we don't see it. Okay, both start off with a lumberjack. Yes, Royal Giant and Graveyard. Yes, Jorge. Awesome. Flying Machine. 
So is it Steffs playing the Lava Hound now? There's the guards. Flying Machine actually hits the tower. And there's the Golem. Golem is on the way. Golem versus Lava Hound. So does history really repeat? Is the Lava Hound stronger than the Golem? Very, very often the Lava Hound does win against the Golem. But here we don't know. Let's see. Golem is distracted by the Tombstone. And the Flying Machine is attacking from far behind. She's gonna support the Lava Hound later on. Uh, Golem's on the tower, supported by Poison. It's not bad damage there for Big O. Yeah, actually pretty good. The Lava Hound still untouched. Now the Flying Machine coming for support. Coming for support. Lumberjack getting stopped. Lava Hound. The Lava Hound's on the tower. And that's first tower for Steffs. Steffs on the King Tower now. Yeah. Again. Lava Hound's doing the trick against Golem. It looks like. The Flugmaschine. <laughs> Looks like it's doing the trick. Steff now pushing other lane. And Big O of course trying to push the same lane to build a push behind his golem. But the golem is at a disadvantage here against the Lava Hound. It's a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit easier to counter here because usually you have so many units like here the tombstone distracts it and then you defend. However, this defense did work a little bit better. It did work a little bit better this time. Good luck. There's the second tower. So Big O again is behind and starts, starts this match here from a 0 to 1. Or continues this match from a 0 to 1. He doesn't start it again. 1-0 for Steffs. Once again Lava Hound beats Golem. Novak Javic. Thank you so much. Very nice words there. <laughs> wow. Fear feel. Hey, hey. And we're going on. On and on we go. Big O. Is this the end? Keep up the good work. Thanks so much, Nova. This is the end. They go. Trying to avoid the end. This is the end. Bandit getting stopped by the lumberjack. Pull. Oh, the pull! Pull did go wrong, but yeah, it's okay. No problem there. Nice golem. Death's leaking a little bit. A little bit leaky. Leaky. The next battle ram's on the way. Battle ram's on the bridge. Lumberjack. Yeah, battle ram's are actually really easy to stop. Hmm. I'm not convinced. I'm really not convinced by the battle ram's. I don't know. They're kind of easy to count. Very often they just go wrong. Musketeer. Musketeer on the bridge. And countered easily by the Barbarian. There's a lot of ice in Steph's deck. The Ice Spirit, the Ice Golem, the Snowball, the Bats. Very cheap one. A Lonely Prince. Lonely, lonely, lonely Prince. Aye. <laughs> Hello, Quirt. Quirt Life. Battle Ram. Up by the musketeer and the fireball just a little bit too late. Now the musketeer ice golem. They are on the way. Ice golem musketeer on the bridge. Snowball. <laughs> they just get snowball. Balloon. 
Yeah, what is he gonna do about the balloon? Because the thing is, he doesn't have a building. We go in trouble. Balloon dropped one heavy load there on the tower. And the death bomb. Now Big O counters with the battle ram. Will it work? No. Yes, Devs is too strong. This may be the end for Big O. This is the end. There's the lumberjack. Lumberjack hacking him down. The musketeer getting stopped. Another lumberjack balloon push. Balloon getting destroyed this time. Not getting there. That was a great defense here by Big O. Amazing defense against the balloon. But yeah, we're in overtime. How is he gonna how is he gonna react to this? He's not getting to the tower, but maybe with a little bit of chip damage. Maybe. Maybe. No. Yeah, the bomb hits. Triple digits. Next battle ram's on the way. There's the next battle ram. Ice spirit. Yeah, big O, he just can't get there. <laughs> it's impossible. Dev's doing really great here on defense, and he can do that for another two hours. Uh, two hours. <laughs> for another two minutes, it seems. He can do that for another two minutes. <laughs> There's the prince. Trying with the battle ramp opposite lane, maybe that one. Yeah, not bad. Did hit. And no, the barbarians don't get there. But it's close, it's very close. He just needs a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Next one. Double lane push. Yeah, Steph's just putting everything into the defense there because that's all he needs to win. Bandit. Oh, 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 that's dangerous. Whoa, 8.32 and all of a sudden Big O took the lead, guys. 8.32. Defense didn't hold. 47 seconds left. Fireball. Yeah, the thing is, Steffs doesn't have a fireball. That's certainly an advantage here for Big O. But there's the balloon. What you gonna do when the balloon comes for you? There's a good snowball and also very well predicted there. I the death bombs on the tower. 537, 19 seconds. Now there's gotta be damage. Now Big O needs damage. He needs damage on that tower. Only 9 seconds. Why does he play right lane? That's weird. Because that's a loss. And Big O is out. Why didn't he play the fireball on the top left tower? Because then he wins. That's all he needed. That was a big mistake. If I uh, 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 calculate it correctly, he wins. If he plays the fireball on the top left tower, he wins. Well. Hmm. A pleasure to watch you with the wish of continuing. Thank you so much, Fear. Let's upload this. Then the next one. So that means Big O is out. Here go, next one, a left check, hey!
Left check is back. Back. Left check against Stephs. You're next. Gonna be amazing. Gonna be amazing. Left check against Stephs. All that typing here. Crazy. So much to type. Left check. What are the bands? Russia needs just two wins to win. And Macedonia needs four. Hast du einen Trailer von Avengers Endgame gesehen? Nein, habe ich nicht. Left Jack is an amazing strong player. So I'm curious. I'm curious. Can he finish this maybe? Or will Steph's Surprise us all and win this. Had this thought. I needed to take notes, but I don't remember. Do you know that feeling? That's so annoying when you think of something and then you want to take notes and then you forget because you're talking. <laughs> and then you forget what you wanted to take notes of. Hmm. And then you keep thinking about what you wanted to note. But I don't remember. It's hopeless. I don't remember. Then it's like really annoying because I keep thinking, what was it? It was important. I think it was important. It had to do with Sunday, but I don't know what it was. It was about Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, I will remember again. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Hast du Avengers Infinity War? Nicht? Nein, habe ich nicht. Band cards for set 5 are Lava Hound and Royal Giant. Lava Hound and Royal Giant. That their left check is already requesting. And we're ready to start. <laughs> There we go. Bats. Bandit. It's, it looks pretty similar to the matches we just had. Ram Riders. Not banned this time. Bands this time are Royal Giant again. So it, it seems like Team Russia, they don't like to play against Royal Giant. They always ban Royal Giant. Ram Rider, which is also very meta, it's not banned. But instead, the Lava Hound is banned. Bandit? <laughs> you can still hear him crying when he's already gone. The Ram Rider. You can still hear the cry. Yeah, bats are sufficient to defend. That works. Bandit. Ram Rider versus... Lava Hound. Inferno Dragon, I mean. Ram Rider versus Ram, Ram Rider. Two interesting different Ram Rider decks. Both of them with a Ram Rider. So, spot the difference. Poison, Snowball. No, there's also Poison. Both have Snowball. The Bandit. Both have the Bandit. The only difference I see here is Bats and the Barbarian Barrel. Bats and Barbarian Barrel. That's the difference I can spot right now. Ram Rider. Oh. Didn't stop him. Electro Wizard gonna stop him. Oh, the Mega Knight. Left check with the Mega Knight. Mega Knight. But the Ram Rider was still good. 1438. And then left check, he also has the Mega Knight. So it's really a mirror, except for. Except for the bats. The bats. Can I really not see the difference? What's different there? Bats. 
band. Yeah, the bats and the barrel. That's what I said. The bats and the barrel. That that's the difference. So exactly the same price with the decks. Bandits. F Jack taking a good lead here with the Ram Rider. This is deck I probably could play because I love to play the Mega Knight. Mega Knight. Stop in everything. And then you gotta defend him. Once he's loose, you gotta do something about the Mega Knight. You cannot ignore him. Next Ram Rider. Ram Rider. Mega Knight. Stop him. Now look at the Infernal Dragon getting snowballed. And then still locks on. Mega Knight versus Mega Knight. Getting burned once again. There's also a bandit. Bandit still good. The Mega Knight still good. The bandit. No, it's going down too. Now the next Ram Rider. Maybe that was a mistake by Steph. His Ram Rider is further back. Further back. But maybe it wasn't the mistake. Because it's getting so close. It's the next bandit. It's funny how when the bandits dash into each other, they do not take damage. <laughs> That's just what it is. Both of them with the Infernal Dragon. Infernal Dragon, Ram Rider approaching, jumping over the river. Electro Wizard trying to stop him. Snowball, Snowball missed. But still, it doesn't take. Left check starting to poison that tower. He's winning this. 1 minute 35. Stop the ram. Rider. No dragons on the Mega Knight. But that's okay. Snowball. Yeah, that's a strong Mega Knight there with the Electro Wizard. Taking down the Inferno Dragon. And now it's gonna dash into the tower. And that's game. 1-0 for left check. 43. There's no way to win this. Nice one here for left check. 1-0. I still don't remember what I tried to remember. <laughs> if I only knew. If I only knew. Was it about the vlog? Maybe? Hmm. The harder you try to remember, the, the more you can. Here's the deck. <laughs> so very similar decks. Well played by Left Jack. Steve, do you know what time the match Turkey? Um, no. But I can look it up. I can look it up for you. It's Friday, March 27. That's when the match Turkey is. So. Both of them waiting. Donna Meta! <laughs> Big O! Hey! Big O, how are you? You played great. It was a big surprise when, when Stefs beat you. But, I mean, three wins is amazing, Big O. Amazing! Absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Three wins is great. Didn't know the rules. Ah, that's why you didn't fireball. Because I said it. When you fireball the top left tower, you win. Balloons on the tower. Mega Knight. Mega Knight. So left check sticks to Mega Knight. Oh, he hits the tower. Mega Knight's on the tower. Mega Knight Ram Rider is so strong. They've switched the decks. Right with the balloon. But that was apparently an unfortunate decision here. And left check already scoring. Hello, ABC, ABC. Hello. Good luck, he says. 
They both wish each other good luck. Yeah, it is fun. World Royale League is fun. There's the balloon. Getting a snowball. And that's it. Balloon. Drop in the bomb. Left check. He just needs to defend. Because that tower, he can easily get that tower. Burning the ice golem. It always hurts if the Inferno Dragon can't get there. I know. It feels like physical pain if the Inferno Dragon just can't get to the tower. Lumberjack. Whoa! Like a bomb. The Mega Knight drops like a bomb. Getting frozen. Yeah, there's the poison. That's already the tower here for left check. 28. So all he needs is a snowball. 24 seconds. 28 points. Ram Rider. What about that balloon there on the left? Why take chances? Defend the balloon. Defend. There's the tower. Now you just... Ah, yeah. That's it. That's it. 2-0 for left check. Well played. And good win here for left check. And that means it's 4-1 for Russia. The next match is match point. And here's the deck. So that's interesting. Mega Knight Ram Rider. That's a good deck. Mega Knight Ram Rider. That could be a good video. Versus Balloon. That's a good one. Mega Knight Ram Rider. Good. Good, good. Next one, left check against Christian. Hello, Skylight. My film sucks. I think so. I'm not sure. I read about this. When I looked for the flag there for Macedonia, I, I read something like it's official now North Macedonia. But don't ask me why. <laughs> I somehow completely missed that change. I don't know. ABC, ABC. I one time play with you friendly battle. You really good place here. Thanks so much. I'm not a good player though. I just play casually. I cast more than I play. <laughs> so let let me type this. Next one is left check. Left check. Versus Chris. Christy Chan. Chris. Okay. This the Chan. Good. That's the next one. Chris D. Chan. That's the name. It's the name of the game. Chris D. Chan requests, but it's actually Left Jack who should request. Skylight OP Chief. Nah, not really. So now we'll see if Russia wins this or if Macedonia has a huge comeback. Left check against Christian. The banned cards are Royal Giant. They banned Royal Giant throughout the whole game and Christian banned the Ram Rider. And yeah, that's of course sad because Left check has played the Ram Rider in the previous matches. And so he can't play the Ram Rider right now. Bans here, Poison and Ram Rider. Poison and Ram Rider. Lava Hound. Inferno Dragon. Oh, by the way, yeah, there's the Global Ban. Ah, the Global Ban is Ram Rider and the Mega Knight. So they basically banned Left Jack's deck. He played before the... The Mega Knight Ram Rider and now both of those cards are banned. So Left Jack, he had to change. And he's probably switching to Royal Giant. Usually when you see the Furnace, 
That's a royal giant deck. So it's Lava Hound against Royal Giant, I guess. I'm just guessing. We haven't seen him yet. Haven't seen him yet. The Mega Knight is banned down there. There's the Mega Knight. And yeah, Left Jack is on top, so don't get confused. Left Jack should play from the bottom, but he actually plays from top. So I was confused actually. Left Jack playing the Lava Hound and Christian playing the Royal Giant. Confuse me! <laughs> They're on the wrong side. Because Christian has requested. So Left Jack taking the lead here. With his Lava Hound deck. Minor push. Maybe he also has a clone. Miner getting some good chip damage. And the tombstone's down. Stone, there's the royal giant. Gonna be distracted by the tombstone. Left check just ignores the royal giant and plays his lava hound instead. The lava hound. That royal giant went down really fast. Good fireball. Lava hound's at the tower. Waiting for support. By the baby dragon. But that baby dragon going down and Christian counter pushes. Counter pushes with the royal giant getting burned by the inferno dragon. The royal giant not gonna do a lot of damage there. The miner's on the tower though. And the fireball. And the miner turns around. And that's a win for left jack. 1 0. The next one is match point for left jack against Christian. Match point. Or left check for Team Russia. Here's the deck if you want to copy the Lava Hound deck. <laughs> that's the deck. If you want to copy that one, that is the deck. Give me water, please. Match point, Russia. Match point, Russia. Left check, taking his time. Now he's on the bottom, so don't get confused. Left check on bottom, Christian on top. Fighting each other in this amazing match. Yeah, the dancing mini Pekka. <laughs> I love that one. Left check with the Barbarian Barrel and the Mega Minion. And Russia score. We're still in the group phase. And... Hello Luis! Greetings back to Peru. Hello. Baby Dragon. Good Fireball. Left check already getting chip damage into place. Chip damage. Barbarian. Barbarian not getting there. Lava Hound. Now Christian with the Lava Hound. It has turned. It has turned. And left check with the Royal Giant this time. So yeah, really don't get confused. It looks like the same match as before, but the players have switched sides. But left check actually, actually here with the Royal Giant getting more damage in than Christian did before. It's almost like they talk to each other and said, let's switch decks and see who is better with the same deck. <laughs> That's how it looks. Lava Hound Flying Machine is very strong. The Mega Minion going for the tower. Oh, uh oh, that doesn't look good. There's only an Ice Wizard for defense. And the tower's also on 439. It's very close. That's a very close match. Match point for Russia. Match point for Left Jank. Baron Barrel on the Tombstone. Trying to remove the tombstone so that he can play the royal giant. But first, first things first. First, he gotta remove that lava hound. 
Fireball. Oh, the fireball didn't hit the tower. Why that? And that was a good fireball, though, for left check. And now left check playing the royal giant. Left check with the royal giant. Shooting that tower and then going for the tower. Is he gonna hit? One hit. Ah, and that's fireball range here for left check. He's gonna win this with a fireball for Russia. And Russia, therefore, wins this match. 5-1 against Macedonia. Wow. I'm going to show you the decks, just in case you want to copy that deck. <laughs> there you go. With the deck. That's the deck that just was played. And... That was amazing. Russia 5, Macedonia 1. An amazing spectacle, an amazing show here by Bego winning three matches and then Left Jack winning two matches. Not a single game lost. Amazing match by Left Jack. Wow, amazing. Let's congrats. Let's send, send congrats. Well played. And then I'm going to answer any questions you may have in the chat. And I'm going to tell you when the next live stream is. It's actually easy. The next one is tomorrow. So don't miss it. And also don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to this channel. And if you do, also click the bell for notifications so that you don't miss anything. So there were some questions here in the chat. Let me, let me see those questions quickly. Um... What is my opinion? By the way, did I already do this? Good. So, there's one question by Skylight. He says, Chief, what's your opinion to the format of the World Royale League? So, I actually do like this format. It's spectacular with all the bands. The bands are a good thing because with the bands, they have to think of different ways to play. They have to think of different decks. They cannot just copy the meta decks and play them. They also have to think something. Like if you have Roxas or Paper meta, and if you ban one of those three, basically, like let's say, you know, Royal Giant is very strong and there is a cycle with, with different decks. Uh, you ban that element. That card, you break the cycle and that makes it way more interesting. And both teams have a chance to ban a card so they can kind of ban those rock, scissors, or paper thing in the meta. If they use the bands properly, they can break that. And that's really good. The other thing is the king of the hill. Um, the king of the hill, I think it's really fun if a player manages to do the sweep. But I also think on the other hand, it's kind of sad if, I mean, five players are ready and only like here two players play. That's kind of sad. I would love to see all of them play. But then still, it's a spectacular format, the King of the Hill. And then maybe the next thing um, is uh, the sets. It's 11 sets max now. 5-1 is actually really fast. If it's a 5-1, it's one and a half hours. And what I think they should really change this this rule with if it goes to four, then you play to six instead of five. I think it should be either best of seven, like it is right now, or make it best of five, that the matches are even shorter. I think a best of five where you just need three wins, that would also be sufficient, or then make it a best of seven. But if it's a best of 11, which was not the case luckily today, that's just very, very long. So that's what I think about the format. First, um, <laughs> the bands are really cool. Second, make it best of 7 would be my recommendation. Um, or best of 9. Actually, best of 7 would be good. And third... Keep the king of the hill. Because it's a spectacular special format that not many others have. That's what I think. So, uh, then Louis says, greetings from Peru. Greetings back to you. Then gaming with Sif is back. Hey, 
That must have been a long time since you've been here last time. Awesome having you. Gaming with C. Looking forward to the next Norway match. At least I feel like it's been forever, but I, I hope I, I'm not doing you wrong here. <laughs> Then the Norway match. So tomorrow, guys, tomorrow, this time tomorrow, we'll have my next live stream. And that will be, that will be United Kingdom against Tunisia. That's going to be tomorrow, 8 p.m. Central European time. That will be tomorrow. Don't miss it. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll have Brawl Premier League, the quarterfinal, the semifinal, and the big final. That's going to be, so it's basically going to be every day. But Monday, I'll have a break because there is no ESL Swiss on Monday. And then I also had a match on Sunday, Argentina against Switzerland. I don't know why my name was removed there. I will put it back. Because I really planned to cast the Switzerland match on Sunday. So then Skylight asks, Chief, we can warn you. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Jorge Falcon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow, Jorge. Um, then Gaming Steve says, I think Norway is playing versus Egypt at March 26. Shall I look it up for you? I can do that. Easy. Easy. Norway. Norway plays against Egypt on March 26. Exactly. And it's at 8 p.m. Which is now minus 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll be sweeping their entire team. This game is Steve. Okay. I'm not sure I cast it because it's a Tuesday though, which is sad. <laughs> now, now you made me curious. The Jorge Falk says maybe best of seven is uh, the best. It can be quite long, but not too long. Yeah, best of seven would be good because then it's over at four. It's still about an hour. It can be over fast, but it would usually be about an hour or maybe best of nine. Which is like now with the five. That would be like best of nine. But it can take longer. So maybe best of seven is the best format. Or best of nine. But not best of eleven. Because two and a half hours. That's like really long. <laughs> really long for the streamer. Then Iron Joker says. Um, let's. While I'm reading the chat here. Let's do. Let, let's start games. So let's just do this while we talk. We play you a match here while we talk so that at least there is some action on the screen. So Iron Joker says, Chief, I'm going to do the 20 win challenge tomorrow. Will you create a clan so you can stream my games? I can do it. <laughs> I'm busy tomorrow with another match, as I just said. And I'm not streaming the 20 win challenge. I'm Probably I may play it, but I'm not gonna get far. <laughs> I know that for sure. <laughs> then Mujita. Hello, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Then Skylight says, Habla en español, chief. Es lo mejor. Yo hablo solo un poquito. No mucho. Sabes? No mucho. Pero hablo, hablo uh, un poquito si. Si hay mucha gente que habla en español en el stream, uh, por ejemplo, uh, <laughs> when a Spanish team plays. Okay, let's end it there. <laughs> let's just end it there. Good. Any more questions? This is your chance to ask questions. And maybe I'll remember the note I wanted to take. Mental note. So 
I'm ready to answer a few more questions if you have any and then we'll end for today and we'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow. Any more questions? There is some, some interesting projects I'm working on for my Starry Spotlight channel, things I want to do there. I'm currently putting a lot of effort on my gaming channel, as you may have noticed. We have those uh, World Royale League matches, we have the Brawl Premier League. The Brawl Premier League will end soon, and then we'll stick to World Royale League. We may have some RCC matches here too, so Clash Royale will certainly remain here on YouTube. I'm thinking about going to TwitchCon and then I'm also thinking about things for my vlog channel. I have some ideas there, but I'm not going to share before I'm really sure if that's what I want to try and do. <laughs> Skylight, a mi me gusta. We can love your commands for streaming a game of Clash Royale. Thank you, Skylight. An iron joke. If I finish the 20 win challenge, would want me to send my replays? No, you don't have to, but I really congratulate you if you make it. That would be amazing. Go for it. I believe in you, iron joker. You can do it. If you try hard, you can do it. I, I will not try. <laughs> I, w I may try a few games, but I will not really try to go and win it. <laughs> not gonna do that. Russia is OP. Stefs, hello, Stefs. Great plays. Are you the Stefs that just played? Those were amazing matches. You kicked out Big O. That was great. The match was great, I mean. <laughs> not wanna be partisan here for either team but yeah it was intense it was interesting russia is really very very strong but uh, impressive matches also by uh, macedonia so one more question from the chat let's see anyone has a question from the chat Then we'll end for today. As always, there will be the video will be available as soon as YouTube has processed the video. And I will add timestamps for each of the matches we've seen. Each of the encounters will have a timestamp. It will be in the video description. And it will be in a comment that I pinned to the video. Uh, so you can click those timestamps or at least go to that time and watch the replay of the match you want to see. I will also use some of the matches that uh, I've thought are really special uh, for separate videos. So watch out for those on my channel too. I keep doing that. I keep recording the individual matches and then try to think what was really special about that match and make individual uh, videos for the matches. I think that's also very cool. And then also look out for more Brawl Premier League videos on my channel during the next few days. <laughs> there will be many. Iron Joker, I did 22-1 last global tournament. So I'm really confident I'm gonna do well in this tournament. That's amazing. Good luck. Good luck to you. Awesome. Do it. I'm in the mood to play... I'm in the mood, what's this? I'm in the mood to play some uh, Dead by Daylight or so, but I have to end because I'm casting again tomorrow. So, as soon as this match is over, I know you shouldn't say this, but as soon as this match is over, we're gonna end. Monday was great, I don't know if you watched. Uh, ESL Swiss, I casted ESL Swiss, the studio is so great. But we talk Swiss German, and so I understand that not many of you will probably be listening there because it's Swiss German. Apparently, probably not many of you understand or speak Swiss German. <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll switch to German. I think that would be a good idea. But I can't tell, I promise. They certainly, I don't think they'll switch to English or something. I, I wouldn't expect that, because it's a Swiss tournament, the ESL Swiss. So here, 
Nice win for the Royal Giant. And that's it for today. Battle Ram and Miner in a day. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Go over here. Oh, oh, wrong one. <laughs> wrong overlay. So thanks everyone for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. Consider to subscribe if you love Clash Royale esports or Brawl Stars esports. Or if you just love my channel and what I'm doing here. <laughs> subscribe to Chief Avalon Esports and Gaming. Click the little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. And if you're at it and you're interested in my vlog, maybe also check out my vlog channel, Starry Spotlight. And subscribe to Starry Spotlight. I tell you this, there will be way more videos on my Story Spotlight too. And I have some ideas for my Story Spotlight, some interesting ideas. But I want to think it through really before that goes live. And so yeah, I, I will see you in the next video. And for a more personal touch, <laughs> go to Story Spotlight, my other YouTube channel. Besides that, I'll see you here tomorrow. 8 p.m. Central European time for the next match, which is United Kingdom against Tunisia. That's tomorrow. Everyone have an amazing rest of the day and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.